Welcome back, everybody. This is Carson Hardy, aka Carsonus, and today in this video, we are going to be looking at a fun little photo shoot that I did with my friend Dominic. I haven't seen him in a minute, and I think that photography is always a great way to connect. At the beginning, I decided to surprise Dominic with the scooters. Um, I packed two in the back of my car, and I knew it would be a great way for us to explore the spots that are usually overlooked. That's exactly what happened. As we hopped on and Dominic started to kind of get a feel for what these scooters could do, we found a trail um, and we just followed it. To our surprise, we actually saw some golfers and I got my first golfer shot. It was definitely good composition, I would say, and good form, but I missed the focus. But it's okay, because I know I'll get another chance and there will be plenty of opportunities. And now I know what pose looks good. We also found these berries on these trees and they kind of reminded us of Christmas. So had to get them as it's almost the end of November now. As we continued down the path, we were, you know, covered by little bits of nature. Nothing too crazy, but Dominic and I, we both always have loved shooting landscapes and we didn't really get to shoot any like vast mountains or anything, but we did get to shoot some wildlife. And today's wildlife was squirrels. They were actually posing for us, it felt like. And there was two fox squirrels and it seemed like one of them was trying to protect the other. They must have been lovers. As we continued down the path even further, we were finding that the elevation was changing and we were picking up some speed on these scooters. Um, and during this, that's actually where I got the thumbnail for this video. And then we decided, let's cross the street. Let's see what that holds. And to our surprise, we found a hidden little spot in North Myrtle Beach. It was a great place that had a beautiful, long, green hedge. And we decided there was an opening and we wanted to open our minds to what we could take. So I decided to get Dominic actually riding through on the scooter. And I just wanted to kind of show him halfway in, halfway out, as if he was, you know, exploring a whole new world. As we were taking these headshots, we were playing with the 70 to 200. It's a nice and long lens and the lens flare was just absolutely amazing. That's how we got a lot of these great shots. And at this location, I wanted to get a photo of Dominic and he came up with a great idea of doing one of those shots where you kind of just lean back, you kind of on your toes and it was quite the workout. He did the same to me and we decided to even throw some leaves in it uh, to kind of have it fall related because um, I was falling. Uh, I'm so corny. I'll actually put his Instagram right here. Go follow him and see what he's got to bring. It's always great content. And as we were doing these shots, I was really trying to give it more of a jumping feel. Um, I forget the photographer's name, but if I find it in this edit, I'll put it right here. Um, I know Peter McKinnon, he actually shot with him before. So it was just kind of letting your body be loose as if you're floating in the air. This hedge location just had absolutely awesome backlight and I've been experimenting with backlight a lot lately and I think it really adds another dimension. If you only have one light source, put it behind you. I'm not really sure who said that, but that's what really stuck to me. Now, as we decided to explore more, we found this trail not too far away from the hedge. This ultimately led to the beach. And I finally got to take a photo similar to what I kind of envisioned for Dominic and his uh, creative collective in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Their name is Wave Creative Collective, aka WCC. And I always want to get headshots of them with the beach right behind them. I tried the shot at F2 and F9, but I still was not able to get the beach in focus due to the fact there's so much distance in between him and the background. So maybe something like an F22 would maybe do the job, and maybe even need to go further. But it was a learning experience. After we took the beach shots, I decided let's continue and see where this trail leads. And we actually ended up finding what was, I think, a nature reserve. And at this nature reserve, I saw uh, a bright white bird super far away. And even at 200 millimeters, it was very tricky, but thankfully my camera has 45 megapixels and I was able to zoom in quite a bit. Still would like something a little bit longer, maybe a two times converter. 
We also found this little dock. There was two of them. And at the first one, I saw this shot and I had to get it. Y'all will see that later on my Instagram. I don't want to post that quite yet. This next shot that I got was on the second dock just before. And I really wanted to encapsulate the moon within this tree. It kind of reminded me of what I've been watching lately. And that's Bob Ross. Bob Ross has a beautiful vision. It's way beyond anything I've ever seen. And I really wanted to kind of encapsulate that. And so I shot in an F11, that way I could get part of the tree in focus. And I like the results, um, maybe a little more foreground and gotta make a crazy, crazy background. If you're gonna have anything that even resembles Bob Ross. At the end of the photo shoot, I found a shot that had a nice dark foreground. This is something I see in Bob Ross's images all the time. Basically, the darker the element, the closer it is. And then, you know, vice versa. He, he really gives a misty look for anything that's kind of far away. Overall, I had a great time reconnecting with Dominic. It was a load of fun. I can't wait for the future photo shoots to come. So I didn't realize there was a little ditch right here. Thank you, Bojangles. Yo, this is luck right here. Know that your photos are a reflection of your inner self. Go out there and shoot, guys. And explore more. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more of my journey. Peace.